Hey guys, welcome to Storytime with Jester. Uh, first off today, I would like to apologize for not having made any videos in the last couple of months. I've uh, been uh, rather busy with uh, my real job and uh, life in general. So um, thanks for your patience in uh, saying, staying subscribed uh, to the channel. Um, I have been posting, uh, keeping up with the uh, Monster of the Month, so uh, uh, check those out if you haven't seen those. Um, but anyway, um, today I'm going to be going over um, some of GUI Cube, GUI Cube's products. Uh, GUI, GUI Cube is a uh, company, RPG company based in Colorado, and um, they produce uh, basically. Um, 5e material, 5e playable material, um, but it's their, they've designed their own world. Um, so it's the world of Zyathe, and uh, they have their own uh, Saturday morning uh, show, uh, Goo Morning Zyathe, uh, so check that out. Um, but in any case, and I, I've done some un unboxing of, of their products in the past, uh, and this isn't exactly going to be an unboxing. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you about some of the things that, that uh, some of the newer stuff that I've gotten from them, uh, in addition to uh, some things that uh, I've helped write and uh, news about stuff that I've, I've written because I'm, I'm one of their freelance writers. So, um, without further ado, here we go. So, um, the most latest stuff I've gotten is their Cyclopedia Magica Volume 1. Great artwork there. Love that artwork. It's just fantastic. Uh, this thing is, as you can tell, you can see it's a very thick volume, which is all of their Cyclopedias are very huge like this. Uh, this comes in at 328 pages and um, just to give you an example here some more artwork that is a wonderful Thuul um, that you will find underground um, but uh, let's see how much uh, yeah, well it's just um, oh yeah hang on here's another here's another piece of artwork you can tell this here Yeah, just absolutely fantastic artists that they hire. Um, but I'll just flip it this way because it's easier to hold and flip. But it's just artwork and information about the magic in the world of Zyathe. Um, and just chock full, full of, of things. So um, anyway, so yeah, this is uh, this is one of the new things that I got in the mail the other day. Uh, just ex so excited to get this stuff because uh, they do such a wonderful job. Um, another one is it's a mini adventure called Dark Tides Night. Um, it can be played by itself or uh, in conjunction with uh, their ongoing campaign chapters. Uh, this one, I believe, uh, if you do that, uh, it comes in at the end of chapter one, uh, maybe the end of chapter two. I can't really remember. Um, I haven't actually taken uh, a party through um, any th through past the the middle of chapter two uh, yet, because uh, mostly what I play is second edition, as you can tell with the. Uh, Right here, with the World of Greyhawk map in the background. Um, this is my gaming table that I have every, uh, once a month, and you can see some of my setup here that I've got prepared for my uh, characters uh, next time we get together. But in any case, um, uh, so yeah, so um, but it, it's it's a mini adventure, and uh, why I say mini adventure, because um, you know it looks like a normal standard adventure. Um, their normal adventures are in boxed sets which is this bad boy here. This is actually chapter four of the ongoing campaign, the Red Star Rising campaign, and this is called the Dread Mist Curse. Um, again, wonderful, wonderful artwork. And I've done unboxing of this before, but, but I'm just real quick here uh, going to show you. Uh, you've, got your, you've got your campaign, your adventure, 
And then you've got the Game Master's Reference Book. And, ah, that's not good. That's not good. But anyway, there we go. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they've got uh, all these little cards that you can hand out. Uh, this is uh, this is your GUI rewards and your special items cards. And then you've got uh, character portraits and more character portraits. And then you've got uh, just all kinds of wonderful, wonderful artwork handouts that you can show your your party, your players, as they're getting, as they're, you know, running, coming into meeting in, in, in getting to places. Just wonderful, wonderful box sets here. But um, in any case, that was, so that's, that's what I mean when I say a, a mini adventure is because this is your standard adventure. And, oh, I forgot to put these back in. Yes, there's no scripted videos on this channel, folks. This is all ad lib. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, sorry. That's who I am. But anyway, so yeah, so you have mini adventures. So uh, this is a mini adventure, and it comes, the mini adventures come with the same stuff that's in the box sets. They're just a lot shorter adventures, and they're uh, packaged a little bit differently and this is a really a mini mini adventure uh, because you've got this one here shadows in Genzacon. Uh this is I'll read from the back here now uh, turn my mug invisible for a second um, the citadel of Genzacon looms over the gloom port beneath Darkenhaven standing watch against the horrors which periodically emerge from the passage leading into the Underdelve. Yet all is not well in the redoubtable keep, as there has been a murder amongst the leadership of the Jinzikon Guard. Charged with investigating this unusual killing, you swiftly find that the situation is far more tenuous than you could have imagined. Several others have gone missing in recent days, Ever more deadly foes assail the gates, and suspicion is building between lifelong allies. The evidence is there to unravel the mystery of the castle, but can you put the pieces together in time? So that is the synopsis of the adventure. Uh, and this is a uh, shout out to the uh, convention, Jinzikon. Um So anyway, um, or Gen Con, I should say, not Gen Con, Gen Con. Um, so anyway, um, uh, that so Darkenhaven and Gloomport. Uh, if you can see me on the wall here, these two right here, uh, that's Darkenhaven and that's Gloomport. And basically, what it is is Darkenhaven is a uh, above ground uh, city uh, with twin waterfalls going on either side the central portion of the city that uh, that fall down into the bay below, and then. Um, in between the two waterfalls is the entrance to the underground seaport called Gloomport. And that is where Shadows, this keep in Sh the, of Shadows and Genzacon is located, is underground there in that uh, underground seaport. Um, both of those box sets, Darkenhaven and Gloomport, have not come out yet uh, to be purchased, but they are uh, forthcoming. And uh, in any case, um, wonderful wonderful uh, uh locales there uh for your characters to uh you know travel through and experience and uh so just be looking out for those uh you can find all this stuff at, at uh, www.gooeycube.com that's gooeycube one word or one word uh, on, on the website gooeycube.com anyway um so um so yeah, so that you know, they came out with that recently. Uh, Shadows at Genzacon. You can you can purchase that. Uh, this is how it comes to you. It's it's shrink wrapped uh, very tightly. Um, so 
you know, wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, just like this one here, shrink wrapped. Um, this one came shrink wrapped too, but I've already opened it up because uh, so, I, so I can read it. Uh, all of these come when you purchase the physical copy. All of these come with digital copies, so you get a digital and physical copy of it. Um, that way, and you'll you'll as soon as you make your purchase, your digital copy will come to you in, in your email. Um, so you can already be looking at it, reading it, whatever, while you're waiting on your physical copy to arrive. Uh, but anyway, um, now the so yeah, so the so two weirded magics, weirded magics, and dark tides night was two of the three things I recently received in the mail that I was so excited to get, and the third thing, third and final thing that I recently got uh, was witch's wrath. Uh, the witch's wrath. Um, is one is an adventure that I helped to write. Uh, it got started by a couple of uh, veterans, um, James and James, uh, buddies that, uh, that that were both in the in the army, I believe it was. Um, but in any case, they started the Witch's Wrath, and uh, just like a lot of us, the life gets in the way sometimes, and uh, they had to turn it over to. Gooey Cube to complete, and Gooey Cube contacted me, and I finished it. So anyway, uh, this is another mini adventure. Uh, just, like I said, just like uh, just like the big box set here adventure, but it's uh, compacted a little bit differently. Um, and I'm going to, since it's, it's unopened, or sorry, since it's opened, um, here's like some of the artwork, NPCs that you'll run into. Um, And see, like on here, they're they're oh, knocked over one of my trees. Uh, here, they're they're on a cardstock, um, and you just basically cut cut it if you want to uh, if you want to do that. That way, you can show in, in them individually to your players. On the back side, it's got the information about that character. So when you're so uh, so if you're the uh, dungeon master, you can be showing to your players like I am to you now and reading the information on the back side. As you're showing it to your players as they're looking at it, so a very very cool design. Um, also shows you some of the locales that they run into, as well as some of the magic items. Again, these would you, you would cut out because those are what's on those little packets that I showed you earlier in the big box set. Um, so anyway, um, and then it still has. Organized back together. Ta -da. It still has the adventure itself, which is just basically, you know, you're not going to have a whole lot of artwork in this, but there is still artwork in there. But um, if that's your adventure, and then you've got your, again, your game master's reference guide so uh, all of that is sandwiched in between sand sandwiched in between the front and back cover that opens up into a map of the area again wonderful artwork wonderful wonderful artwork so uh, oh and uh, this may or may not be a creature you can run into. A um, little bit about the world of Zyathe. Eh? Um, it is a corrupted world. Um, not high in magic, although uh, your, your characters do have available to them uh, pretty much the general spell listings that you find in standard 5th edition. Okay, But it's not a high-end magic world so to speak um, it's been corrupt the world whole world's been corrupted um, you can get the history and everything uh, by going on the like I said the, the gooeycube.com and um, or watching some of the videos that they've produced um, but in any case um, just a fantastic world um, that, that they've developed and so far all the products is contained in this very small portion of the world um, and they've, they've got new races and, and new monsters and new spells and all kinds of stuff. Um, so yeah, check them out. Uh, you will not be dissatisfied. Um, and I think one of the, I think they were one of the uh, 
premier RPG companies right now. Uh, they're just uh, small and haven't been recognized as much as some of the, some of the others, but they have been going to a lot of conventions. Uh, so you'll so if you're out there at the conventions, uh, look them up because they'll be there um, in some capacity. Um, but yeah, uh, the the leader, the, the grand wizard himself, is called Alphinius Goo. Uh, so check him out. Uh, again, he's the one that would be that talks on the um, um, morning Saturday morning podcast or broadcast uh, Twitch broadcast um, Goo Morning Zayathe, uh, which will be airing here shortly because this is Saturday morning and uh, yeah. I, Needs more coffee, <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, that that that's that's some of the stuff that I've recently acquired, got in the mail that I've been so excited to get. Um, it's coming up, other than like I said, the uh, other than Gloomport and Darkenhaven uh, bo uh, uh, boxed accessories because uh, these are the those are lo locations as opposed to actual adventures themselves, but they're going to be in the big boxes. Uh, actually, bigger boxes, I think, than than the standard adventure. Um, but uh, also coming um, coming soon uh, is chapter five. This is chapter four. Um, uh, so the Red Mist Curse is chapter four of the uh, ongoing Red Star Rising campaign. Um, obviously, there's three previous boxed sets, just like this, chapters one, two, and three. But chapter five, the one that's going to be coming out soon, called uh, uh, um, Spawn of Zanvichu, uh, I wrote. So I'm really excited about that. And as soon as it, I get my grubby little hands on it, uh, when it arrives to me in the mail, I will do a complete unboxing on this channel uh, for you guys to view. Because uh, I want to, uh, you know, toot toot. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got so far, guys, uh, for today. Um, I do also uh, want to apologize for my audio uh, the last few times I've aired, uh, which I've been airing up there at my bar. Um, yeah, apparently, uh, you can't plug in an audio device uh, to a... Um, sound system that has a hardwired speaker because I had plugged my computer, which is my webcam here, into the same power strip as my stereo system. And that was given some feedback, background, buzzing, humming, noise, whatever, uh, on, my, on my audio on the videos that I made. And so I do apologize about that. Uh, hopefully this that's been corrected since I'm now completely se plugged in separately from all that stuff back at my normal uh, uh, broadcasting table. So uh, if there's still some kind of feedback, guys, please leave it in the comment section. Um, and anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient with me in these last couple months for not having produced any content. And uh, until next time, and as always, see you soon.